Welcome to This Week in Security with our roundup of the most important stories of the week affecting the UK's security and private and public sector organisations. Our editor's top stories this week find out how many trillions are likely to be lost to cybercrime, the major breakthrough in terrorist behaviour that may have implications for terror prevention. The ICO slams another public organisation for releasing personal information how more than 60,000 classified US military documents were left unsecure with complete public access. And what's driving London's police to have plans for 22,000 body cameras by the end of the year? Plus, more news on our own major launch at IFSEC this June. Now, we all know cybercrime losses are mounting daily, but some staggering information has just been released by UK-based Juniper Research. They calculate that over the next five years, £6.2 trillion could be lost to cybercrime. That's more than three times the UK's national debt. According to the report, small to medium-sized enterprises, or SMEs, are most likely to come under attack as they are less likely to keep their software up to date. In spite of this, it's expected that most companies of this size plan only the slightest increase in budgets for cybersecurity. This news comes within hours of the publication of a survey revealing that almost half of IT decision makers believe their boards don't take cybersecurity seriously. However, it's possible that events such as the recent WannaCry ransomware attack have served as a wake up call. Now this week saw a moving TV interview by Naveed Yassi, the Manchester trauma surgeon and also a Yorkshire-born Muslim, on how he couldn't reconcile someone with the same faith as his doing such evil. Now it may seem obvious that terrorists have an abnormal pattern of moral judgment, but could it be that their brains are wired differently? Psychologists in Colombia believe they've identified key components of the terrorist mindset. When researchers interviewed 66 ex-combatants from paramilitary terrorist groups, they found that they're much less likely to take intentions into account. And subjects often believed that accidental harm was as bad as harm caused deliberately. The researchers are cautious about the implications of their study, but they hope that the conclusions could help create psychological profiles for use in forensics and law enforcement. In many recent terrorist attacks, the perpetrators have been known to authorities, and it's possible that findings like this will help the authorities to identify those that are likely to carry out attacks in the future, and therefore make best use of their finite resources. Now, Basildon Council has been fined £150,000, and that was for making a traveller's personal details available online. Sensitive medical information about the family, including specifics about their mental health conditions and disabilities, were made public in planning application documents that appeared on the Council's website. Now, while this is certainly a significant sum of money, it could have been much worse for the Council had this occurred after the 25th of May next year. This is when GDPR comes into effect and they could have been hit with an eye-watering fine of up to 16 million. For more on how to prepare your business for GDPR, take a look at our security expert online training videos. Okay, that was good. Now, you've probably heard stories about officials accidentally leaving laptops full of secrets on the train. Well, this is almost the digital equivalent. It's emerged that employees of Booz Allen Hamilton, a major U.S. security contractor, left more than 60,000 U.S. military documents on an Amazon cloud server accessible to the public. And to make matters worse, this included the passwords of contractors with access to top-secret facilities. This story underlines the importance of ensuring that anyone, including external contractors accessing your organization's sensitive information, know how to keep that information secure.
Now, a scheme to equip police officers across London with body-worn video cameras, or BWVs, is underway. And it's already been rolled out to several boroughs. By the end of the year, there will be 22,000 electronic eyes on the beat around the capital. The cameras are clearly visible and officers are instructed to inform those that they are interacting with that they're being recorded. Captured footage is uploaded to secure servers and if not required as evidence will automatically be deleted after 31 days. The devices have already helped victims to get justice faster as offenders have proved much more likely to plead guilty when they know their actions have been recorded. It's also hoped that besides their usefulness as evidence gathering tools, the cameras will help build trust between the police and local communities, as it will no longer be a case of a police officer's word against the word of a member of the public. And finally, some major news from ourselves. We're about to launch SEOL. There's going to be a major event at IFSEC between the 20th and 22nd. And we'll be launching officially on the 20th. So if you want to join us, visit IFSEC and come to our stand. And we may even get you on camera. And we'll also this week be launching our new website. This will have regular video news, alerts, training, and the marketplace where you can connect with decision makers in the security industry. It's free to join, so if you're not already watching this news on Security Expert Online, click the icon to my left and register today. And you can also follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn. And please do send us your news stories. And if you have some special expertise, why not request to appear on one of SEOL's future programs? So, thanks for watching, and online, together, we'll make the world a safer place. Bye for now.